discloses something unlike anything uttered by any other high-level U.S. politician. If you if you had been here 10 years ago and standing out here and looking up there at the um, at the lights and the view, um, you would have been astounded. You would have been amazed. Governor Simington is referring to what is now known as the Phoenix Lights, an object videotaped by many and seen by thousands over several nights in the Arizona sky in 1997. Major sighting here. It was described by witnesses as larger than a football field and silent. It was a giant V, all right? Uh -huh. And the right side of the V went over us. The left side was like a couple blocks over it. We just didn't know what to do. You know, it was just like, my God, how big is this thing? The great state of Arizona, Fife Symington. The former governor, a Vietnam Air Force veteran, had never publicly acknowledged seeing it until now. And I suspect that uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise, that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft. So why didn't he say anything then? Partly, he says, because he didn't want people to panic. I think as a public figure, you have to be very careful about what you say because uh, people can have pretty uh, emotional reactions. And, and, uh, and I said my goal wasn't to try to stir the pot. And he went to humorous and controversial lengths not to stir the pot. The he held a news conference after the Phoenix Lights the to announce the mystery had been solved. Community. And now I'll ask Officer Stein and his colleagues to escort the accused into the room so that we may all look upon the guilty party. Don't get him too close to me, please. <laughs> in the alien costume, the governor's chief of staff. Now this just goes to show that you guys are entirely too serious. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts were not amused, especially since the governor was believed to have seen nothing. But now he's coming out. The lights were really brilliant, uh, and it was just fascinating. It, I mean, it was, it was enormous. It just felt otherworldly. You know, you're, in your gut, you could just tell it was otherworldly. Symington will be talking about this in an updated right? film about UFOs called Out of the Blue. He has also talked with an organization that wants UFO information more out in the open. It's very significant that someone of the stature of a governor would come out and say that they acknowledge that they experienced uh, a UFO um, because it brings a lot of credibility and strength to the case. Governor Symington says he did tell his family, friends and staff about what he saw early on. I still behind the scenes uh, tried to investigate it, but I got nowhere. So what were the Phoenix Lights? Well, frankly, we don't know. What we do know is that it's as much of a mystery today as it was a decade ago. Gary Tuckman, CNN Phoenix. From UFOs to a story that's truly out of this world, the astronaut accused of trying to abduct her romantic rival, well, it seems that she's got a new job. That's coming up. Also tonight, our shot of the day. Man on fire, the life and death struggle to save him. We've got the tape. We'll show it to you. Announcing the Subaru all-wheel deal sales event. From now until April 2nd, get great deals from Subaru, the only car maker with the highest possible crash test rating for every model. Plus, every Subaru comes equipped with road-gripping all-wheel drive. Right now, lease the Tribeca for only $2.99 per month. Plus, the Tribeca has received the top safety pick from IIHS. Hurry in and lease one for $2.99 per month. Offers end April 2nd. I get a little bit Tomorrow, beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern. As more congressional hearings get underway, we're checking out who will ultimately pay for subprime loans. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. on American Morning. First dates, weddings, meetings. You can wear the same suit on almost any occasion, but why would you? When Men's Warehouse offers a Starting at $200, you're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. A little black dress is always in style, but even a little shows. My old dandruff shampoo wasn't into black, so I switched to Selsun Blue. Doctor recommended for flakes and itch with Alwyn moisturizers for healthier hair and scalp. Never wear black without the blue. Selsun Blue. When I wear black, I don't want flakes, but I do want healthy hair. Then switch to Selsun Blue Salon. So soft, so rich. No flakes, no itch. Maximum dandruff relief, rich vitamins and moisturizers. Selsun Blue Salon. Never wear black without the blue. Another insider tip from Cox, HD. Did you know your HD TV doesn't automatically deliver a high definition picture? All you need to do is connect with Cox HD service and you can start enjoying free high def programming like sports, movies, and your favorite shows. 
Make sure you're getting a true high-def picture. Get HD service from Cox. It's that easy when you have a friend in the digital age. Hello, thanks a lot for the head, man. No I appreciate it. Oh, it's so... Yeah, it was a tough show. I was a disaster. Hey, we're going to play some ball out back. Can I borrow some socks? No, I don't have any socks. All right. K&G Fashion Superstore. For men, for women, for less. The world might not be made for you, but Men's Warehouse is. We have an extensive big and tall selection, all at prices that won't knock you out. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Let's get to the truth. It's time for answers. Lou Dobbs tonight, CNN tomorrow, 6 Eastern. Coming up, our shot of the day. It's the desperate attempt to free a man from an inferno. A dashboard camera shows what happened. That's coming up ahead. First, though, Karen Chetry joins us now with 360 Bulletin. Hi, John. Good to see you. We start off with a disturbing story out of Iraq. Today, Private First Class Brian Howard told a judge he witnessed four other U.S. soldiers plan the rape of an Iraqi girl outside of Baghdad last year. The girl and her family were shot to death. Howard pled guilty to being an accessory to rape and murder. Could face up to 15 years in prison. Here at home on Wall Street, a very good day for investors. Stocks soared in reaction to signs that interest rates may be cut. At the closing bell, the Dow was up 159 points. NASDAQ, uh, the S&P, and uh, the NASDAQ also posted some healthy gains today. And from trips to outer space to a desk job, that's where the former astronaut charged with attempted kidnapping is headed next. Navy Captain Lisa Nowak will soon work for the Chief of Naval Air Training Command. The job begins next month. She is, by the way, out on bail. She's accused of attempting to abduct a woman in a romantic relationship with a fellow astronaut. It's a quick look at your news, John. A little more down to earth than she was, but yeah. it's interesting that she found gainful employment somewhere else. Karen, exactly. thanks very much. Our shot of the day is from Fayetteville, North. Carolina recorded from a police dashboard camera. Two police officers try to save a person trapped inside a burning van. This happened early this morning. You can see the flames leaping out of the vehicle there. You can also hear the man's screams if you turn up the volume enough. Uh, there you can hear those two.